Hello everybody, my name is Jeff Phelan. I'm with Coast to Coast Equestrian.com. Uh, we're here with Phantom at uh, Fremont Hills Country Club in Los Altos Hills, California. And today we're going to be demonstrating how to replace a shoe. And you might tell yourself, oh, I could never do this. But it is possible. It's very possible. You just have to want to be able to do it. It's not brain surgery. I'm going to walk you through it today. And uh, probably we're going to say about five steps that it's going to take. First, you're going to have the shoe. And hopefully, the shoe was pulled off clean, meaning there's no foot ripped off. As you can see there, there's no foot ripped off. The horse is, you know, a lot of times I'll pull the shoe and no foot will come off. So we've got the shoe here and we've gotten the right nails. You'll have to get with your uh, farrier and ask him what the proper nails are and get yourself a basic kit. So today we're going to be using a, a CH5 combo nail. Fits in here nice. You can, you, as you can see, it's not too big for the shoe. Sometimes if I put the biggest nail in, it would be way too big. You can see how big it is. So uh, I've got the right nail. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump under the horse. I have a pair of shaps here. That's, that's appropriate so you don't get a nail ripped through your foot or through your leg. Sorry. So we're going to take the shoe here and literally it's like putting pins in a pin cushion. We're going to take the right nail. The most important thing about the nail is that the emblem on the nail is always facing towards you because the nail has a natural flow to it that makes it want to go out. So the most important thing is that the nail is facing your direction when you put it in. So we're going to take the nail, we're going to put it in the shoe, and then we're going to come here and we're going to find the old hole. This is for beginners, and you can do this yourself. You find the old hole, and then you're just going to tap it down in. Well, after you do that, you can just pull the nail and swat it forward. Okay? So the nail is facing you. You're looking at the emblem, facing you, looking at the emblem. Put it in the old hole and hammer it through. This should always, they should always come out the old holes that your horseshoe had already left for you. So you don't have to drive any new holes. It's like putting a nail in an old piece of wood. The emblem is facing you. Put it in. I'm bending it over. I'm pulling it. Ringing the nail is one way. Or you can also nail facing me. You can just bend it and hit it up. That works too. You don't want the nails hanging out in case the horse moves and hits you. Get a nail in your leg. So now we pull all the nails. The next tool that I'm going to need is a clinch block. The clinch block lays underneath and you hit it one, two, and as you hit the nail, you pull the you take the clinch block a little away from the foot and that bends it. There we go. We got a hammer, a clinch block, the crease pullers, the right nails, and that's the tools that you'll need to nail on a shoe. I'm Jeff Phelan with Coast to Coast Equestrian.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.